Good morning. Good morning. The moment that I wake up. Come on in for some morning worship this morning. Come on in. So we gather for worship this morning. All my life you have been faithful. Good morning, good morning. Y'all come on in, come on in. All my life you have been so, so good. Good morning, Asia. Good to see you. Elaine, good morning, girl. Stacy, Cynthia, Karen, Kyla, good morning. Nancy, good morning. You're old, good morning. Sweet Lily Bates, good morning. Lucius. Uh, Asia, don't, she sings the mess out of this, doesn't she? Oh my goodness. Y'all did this. Y'all did this. Good morning, Martha. Kayla. Dave. Karen, good to see you, Jerry Stubbs, Sharon, good morning, y'all, good morning, welcome, y'all come on in and worship a little bit, Jen, come on in and worship a little bit, yeah, that's Connie, hey, Dan, Ma Marion, happy Monday, happy Monday, Ooh. Hey Matt. Hey Matt. Well, good morning, man. From the flood. Good to see you, bro. Praying for y'all in y'all's church. I saw y'all some of y'all's video stuff this past weekend. Good stuff, man. Keep leading strong, bro. So good to see you, Matt. Beth. Ricky Brown. Good morning, bro. Morning. Good morning, Dominique. Good morning. Chastity, good morning. Yo, let this part, let this minister to you today. Let this minister to you today. Let this, let this minister to you. Come on. You don't have to run after his goodness this morning. His goodness is running after you. It's coming after you. It's coming after you. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Keisha. Keisha Delaware in the house. Aaron, good morning. Brittany. Be bold. Be bold. Listen. Let this song minister to you. Lamar, what's up, bro? Sandra, good morning. Good morning, Jane, John, Darren, good morning, Adriana, good morning, Ashley, good morning, Erica. Good morning, Kiana. Good morning, Mama. You believe God's been good. Come on, just hit those hearts. Let's just lift up those hearts. Lift it up. Lift it up. Come on. It's our morning worship together. Come on, lift up those hearts. Come on.
Come on, lift those hearts. Lift those hearts. Declare it. Lakita, come on. Good morning. Marion, good morning. Alyssa, good morning. He's so good. He's so good. Good morning, Lord. Somebody say hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. I know you probably can't spell it, uh, but just lift up those hearts and just give God glory this morning. He's so worthy this morning. He is so good. He's so good. Yeah, Vernon, that's Larissa. And the fellowship, uh, that's the fellowship worship collective. It's our worship team and Larissa's leading us out. I mean, just, oh, he's so good. I'll play it again at the end. Uh, if y'all want to just, we're we going to sit in that a little while longer. We're going to sit in that, that reality. Yo, welcome. Happy morning. I hope y'all had some lemonade this weekend. I hope y'all had a good time. Uh, welcome to the good news today morning show. Um, a daily devotional where we sit down and we just chime and sit in God's word together as a family. So it's kind of like a, our own gather together worship uh, morning devotional where we get to do it together as the body of Christ. Uh, he, will quiet he will quiet you with his love. I love that, Matt. Uh, we we just going to gather together uh, and just encourage one another. Um, but it can't be a good morning show. Come on, somebody. Without a good theme song. And our theme song is our morning declaration. And I want y'all just to go on and start typing it. It's our morning declaration that everything's going to be okay. Here's the morning theme song. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dante. Let's go. Come on. Everything's going to be okay. Miss Sylvia, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay, y'all. Come on, type it. Declare it. Everything's going to be okay. Hey, y'all. We start every morning by declaring everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Somebody needs to hear that today. Somebody's overwhelmed. Somebody's got more questions than they do answers. Someone's got more doubt than they got faith. Somebody's struggling today. I know you out there. And I'm telling you, the word of the Lord is everything's going to be okay. Listen, share this right now with somebody. Share, share, this, share this feed with somebody. There's somebody in your circle, in your sphere of digital influence that needs to hear this word today. So take 30 seconds and just share it um, as we declare everything's going to be okay. Some of you just need to say it to yourself. You need to say it to yourself because anxiety has been rising up in your chest. You, you've been navigating struggle. Just, just tell yourself everything's going to be okay. Lay your hand on your chest. Prophesy to yourself. Speak the word of the Lord to yourself. Encourage yourself. Everything's going to be okay. I need you to believe that word today. I need you to believe that word today. Sylvia, we're praying for you. No, you lost your mom. We're praying for you. Everything's going to be okay. Eric Glenn, good to see you, bro. Everything's going to be okay. Uh, Ashley, everything's going to be okay. Uh, Sam, everything's going to be okay. The word of the Lord. He's still on the throne. The sun came up this morning. God's still on the throne. Everything's going to be okay. So start this Monday with the reality and the truth that everything's going to be okay. Well, this is the guy, probably one of the f only ones in America that's got a morning uh, devotional show that hates waking up in the morning. Uh, so I'm not excited to be here. I'm excited to see y'all and all that, but I wish I was in the bed. I wish I drug myself up this morning. So if you're not a morning person, here, cheers. I'm drinking uh, this coffee to try to get me going this morning. So if you starting slow, I ain't mad at you. I'm right there with you. Um, 
Uh, Gigi, I see that. She says she needed to hear that today. She needed to hear this today. So listen, when, when we interact and when you write and everything's going to be okay, just know that that's blessing somebody. That's blessing somebody. Even if it ain't blessing you, that's blessing somebody. Somebody needs to see it in abundance. Someone needs to hear it. Carissa, so good to see you. Somebody needs to see it and hear it in abundance. Julie, good to see you. They need to hear everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. But yeah, y'all, I ain't, I ain't trying to get up this early every day. I'm on assignment. You hear me? The Lord told me to do this. Because if the Lord didn't tell me to do this, I've been in my bed dreaming everything going to be okay. Just, just telling myself in my sleep. But I'm here on assignment. And since I'm on assignment, I'm not going to waste time. We're going to be about the Father's business. Matthew chapter 5. If you have your Bibles, listen, you're going to want to write some stuff down today. Uh, Matthew chapter five. I was so blessed. Uh, I was so blessed last week. To be honest, I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to tell you, this is really blessing me. I complain about getting up in the morning, but this is blessing my socks off. I'm spending this time with y'all. It's been such a blessing. Um, and so I'm so glad uh, to be here. And I really do. I'm really encouraged. Marion, I'm really encouraged. Uh, Gilbert, so good to see you. I'm really encouraged. Angela, Robin, and I'm encouraged to see y'all here. And we got some faithfuls. We got a tradition. We started a tradition. I, we building a tribe, y'all, a community. And share it with your friends. Share it. It'll be an opportunity to just take a few moments in the morning and start your day off right. Um, Matthew chapter 5. Um, I'm, I'm going there a little bit today. I'm going to go there a little bit today. I'm just going to tell you now. I'm going there just a little bit today. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. Um, it says, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are they that mourn, for they will be comforted. Here, this is a segment of the Sermon on the Mount when Jesus is giving this sermon, his, his first sermon, really. Um, and he starts with the what we call, what we commonly refer to as the Beatitudes, um, and the second one is blessed are they that mourn. Uh, today I want to talk about um, Monday morning. Monday morning. Do, do you see what I did there? M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. Monday morning. <sighs> what I'm about to tell you is so important. It's so, it's a really big deal for your success and your ability to thrive in this season. You have to give yourself permission to mourn. That's the first point. That's the first point. If you take a note, you, you should write that down. You have to give yourself, hey, Natalie, you got to give yourself permission to mourn. He didn't say, blessed are they that ignore the realities of the day, for they shall be comforted. He didn't say, blessed are they who walk in denial every day of loss. He didn't say, blessed are they who, who act like everything's okay and it really ain't. I, I guess what I'm saying is, although our declaration every morning that we're going to make is everything's going to be okay, but I need you to understand it's okay not to be okay. It's okay not to be okay. Some of you are not okay and it's okay not to be okay. God is inviting us. Here, here's the deal. The goal is not to run. Let, let me just prepare you. We're still in the thick of this, y'all. We're just getting started. We're just at the beginning of this season of quarantine, of this season of disease and, 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 and sickness. We're just in the beginning of of loss. By now, statistically, many of us know someone who's had the virus or has the virus. What you'll see this week, what will begin to grow is many of us will know someone or know someone who knows someone who has died from the virus. Every week, I want to give you a, a healthy dosage of reality and sobriety. It's going to get worse before it gets better. 
And I'm a man of faith. I'm a man of God. So it has nothing to do with a lack of faith. God can intercede and show up however he wants to. He can show up like the Hebrew boys. If I burn in this fire, God is good. If I walk out of this fire, God is good. So this is not a question of God's goodness. This is just the reality of the world we live in. And we have to walk around with a God is good attitude despite what happens. But I need to tell you, death and the virus, unless God intervenes, will spread. And I want you to hear that and I want you to be sobered by that. I want you to be sobered by that. And I want you to know that there's a wave of sadness and discouragement that will probably come your way. I, I can hear y'all now. Albert, I'm, t I'm logging off. I thought this was good news. You are depressing the hell out of me. No, 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 no. That's, that's the goal. Because hell would love you to be in denial and to be discouraged and for you not to know how to navigate this season. That's what hell wants you to do. Hell wants you to react in your flesh and the kingdom wants you to respond in the spirit. <sighs> Come on and hear somebody. I wish I had some hearts on that. The enemy wants you to spend your days reacting in your flesh, but I'm telling you the kingdom is helping you to get to the place where you can respond in your spirit. I want to help you respond in your spirit. Although the wave is coming of sadness and discouragement, now is not the time to run away from sadness and to run away from bad news. It is to walk through sadness and to walk through bad news. I... It's, 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 not, it's not about coping with this and walking in faith and not fear. Isn't you running away from the realities and you acting like it ain't happening? Oh, I'm just not even going to watch the news. I'm just not even going to listen to that. I'm not even going to. No, 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 no. People are dying. You need to pay attention. You don't need your head stuck in the sand. And you don't need to be running away from bad news, running away from discouragement, running away from sadness. By the help of the power of the Holy Spirit, you will walk through sadness. You will walk through bad news. He says, blessed are they that mourn. It is important that you give your, yourself permission to cry. It is important that you give yourself permission to be sad. With the amount of loss that's happening, you should mourn and grieve every loss. There's loss on multiple levels. Some of you just need to mourn and grieve the loss of normal. You've, you've lost normal. And that's sad. You should create space and time to respond to that. Some of you, you, you just, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, uh. I'm telling you, you're going you're gonna to pass out. You're going to implode. You can't, you can't bottle up all that emotion and it not go anywhere. It goes somewhere. Some of you, it goes in your body and you feel it in your body and you end up getting sick. Or you end up feeling fatigued because you're holding all of that in your body. He says, blessed are they that mourn. Blessed are they that mourn. Mourn. Give yourself permission to cry. Give yourself permission to be sad. Go in the room. Close the blinds. Close the door. Turn the lights off. And sit up under the covers and be frustrated. And, and, and be sad at the reality of what is now. Your, some of you got kids that won't walk across the stage. They won't get a cap and gown. They won't be able to graduate normally. You should mourn that. Stop acting like everything's every, 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 everything is just good when it's really not. No, it's bad. 51 doctors in Italy died. 51 doctors. It ought to break your heart. Give yourself permission for your heart to break at the reality of the devastation that's happening around us. Walking in faith doesn't mean, we, doesn't mean walking in denial. Give yourself permission to be sad. Give yourself permission to not be okay. Some of you, you got the kids at the house and you're just trying to knuckle it through and trying to get it through. Hey, some days you, it wasn't a good day. Give yourself, give yourself permission to be okay with not having great days every day. Give yourself permission not to, for it to be all wins with the kids all day, every day. Give yourself permission not to be okay. Feel in this season. Don't numb in this season. 
feel in this season. Don't numb in this season. Some of you are numbing already. You're numbing with pills. You're numbing with alcohol. And don't even, don't, don't blame this on COVID-19. You've been doing this way before this. This ain't, this, you, you just didn't start numbing. You was numbing before. Now it's intensified. Listen, if you keep drinking yourself, drinking to, to numb yourself, you ain't going to make it out of this. If you keep sleeping with them to make yourself feel better about yourself, hello in here. Using sex as a numbing mechanism is not going to bring you out in the way that God is intended for you to come out. Going back and going through text messages and digging up old relationships that you walked away from intentionally, now you're walking back to intentionally, it's dangerous. Don't miss God in this season. Don't numb with counterfeits when you can be healed by the great original. Oh, I wish I had a witness up in here. Don't numb with counterfeits. In the presence of the great original, you can experience healing. He invites you to it. He says, blessed are they that mourn. How many sermons you've heard about this? How many times you've heard people talk about this? Because we don't want to go there. We got a culture where we don't want to feel the sadness and the discouragement. And we act like faith means to act like stuff ain't happening. Yo, it's some jacked up stuff happening and it is sad. It is discouraging and you should give yourself permission not to feel great about it. Making the best of this season and I get that and we're going to make the best of it. I talked about making lemon from lemonades, but somebody needs to taste the lemon and say that's bitter and that ain't cool. And I'm saying mature members of the community of faith recognize that just because devastation has come doesn't mean that the father has left. Come on in here, somebody. Are y'all with me in here? Just because devastation has come does not mean the father has left. Give yourself permission. Some of you ain't sat and been sad yet. Some of you hadn't sat and been, and you gotta be careful because the enemy would love for you to get stuck in angry. See, some of us, we can access anger quicker, but anger is just a symptom of a deeper emotion. Anger is up here. Anger is, yeah, I'm just mad. But why are you mad? You're mad because somebody disappointed you. You're sad. You're, you're, you're angry because there's something happening that's out of your control. So don't get stuck in anger. He doesn't say blessed are they that are angry. No, no, no. You got to move through anger. Don't skip over anger. You can be mad. I'm mad at the government. I'm mad at this. I'm mad at my job. I'm mad at the. You can be angry. Just don't get stuck there. Come on, come on, T touch your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, put in the comments, say, don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck in anger. Don't get stuck in anger. Tell somebody, tell somebody, because some of you, you angry now. And we ain't even talking about COVID-19. Don't trip, don't, don't, don't put me in the box. This ain't just the COVID-19. Some of you, you still mad from the divorce. Some of you still mad from, from the relationship that went back. Some of you still mad from the last job and you got stuck in anger. Don't get stuck in anger because if you get stuck in anger, you'll never get to mourning. And if you never get to mourning, you'll never get to the comfort. He says, blessed are they that mourn for those that mourn will be comforted. You wonder why the Holy Spirit never comforted you because you never made it to the place to receive the comfort. You got stuck in anger. You got to move to mourning because it is in your mourning that you receive comfort. You too angry to be comforted. You know when you angry, you ain't trying to be comforted by nobody. When you mad, when you just, just think about the last time you had, a, had, a, had an argument with your spouse. In the heat of the argument, if they would have come up to you to try to give you a hug, you probably would have cussed them out. Get off me. I'm mad at you, get off me. That's why you can't receive the comfort of the Holy Spirit because you're so mad you can't receive comfort because when you're angry, you can't receive comfort. Ooh, ooh. Come on in here. Come on in here. Some of you need to stop being mad. Don't get stuck. Move through it. I, I'm not saying skip over it. You get a right to, you should be angry at what they did to you. You should be, you should be angry. Some of you, they did you wrong, and then you should be angry. Don't get stuck there. You'll never receive comfort in anger. 
He says, blessed are they that mourn, for they will be comforted. Give yourself permission to move past anger and really be sad about what they did to you. And to lament, to cry out, to, to grieve the reality. Some of us are stuck at home. We can't go to work. Some of you lost your job. Some of you are scared about losing your job. Some of you are losing employees. Some of you, the plans you have for the summer vacation, you're slowly seeing stuff drop off the calendar that you had planned. Some of you are missing opportunities. Grieve. You should cry. You should grieve that. You should be sad about that. Give yourself time and space to sit and be sad about the reality of what's going on. Mourn, mourn, mourn. 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 Why is mourning so important? Let's go to the next point. Let me move on. Give yourself permission to mourn. Why? Because in this season, a broken heart, tears, ashes, and heaviness are necessary. Let's say that again. A broken heart, ashes, tears, and heaviness are necessary. Why? Because Psalm 38, 18 says, God is close to the brokenhearted. He's close to the brokenhearted. How do you get God close in this season? Well, he draws to a broken heart. So if you let your heart break, I think God will come in closer than you've ever experienced him before. Tears are necessary. Why? Because Psalm 56, 8 talks about how he'll bottle up your tears. God is sitting there waiting with a bottle to capture your tears. But if you never provide the tears, what is he going to do with that bottle? If you never provide the tears, what is he going to do with that bottle? You'll, you'll never see the wonder that lies ahead with what he'll do with the bottle if you never provide the tears. You'll never know that he can be close in the midst in a time like that if you never provide the broken heart. The broken heart is a divine invitation for God to draw near and close in a very powerful way. Mourning is necessary. Ashes, ashes, ashes. I love it. He says um, in, in Isaiah 61, he says, I'll give you beauty for ashes. And, and for your heaviness, I'll turn your heaviness into dancing. The ashes are necessary, but if you refuse to sit in the ashes, you will miss the beauty that's on the other side. If you refuse to allow the ashes to sit around, and I know it's disruptive. Nobody wants to say, oh, praise the Lord. I'm going to go sit in ashes today. Praise the Lord. I'm happy today. Oh, praise the Lord. I got a broken heart in the name of Jesus. I got a broken heart in the name of Jesus. Nobody dry. Nobody runs to that. Nobody wants ashes. Nobody's like, woo, ashes. No, everybody's like, woo, confetti. No one's throwing up ashes. I get it. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's the way of the world. The world, th the world throws up confetti. God says throw up ashes. Because as you sit in the ashes, I'm going to use the ashes to make something beautiful. I'm going to use the ashes to make something beautiful. No ashes, no beauty. He says, and I'm gonna take your heaviness and your heaviness is gonna produce a rhythm and a dance that I'm gonna give you. And you don't get to the dance without first walking through the heaviness. Some of you want the dance, but you don't want the heavy. Some of you want the beauty, but you don't want the ashes. And I'm telling you, if you come through this season without sitting in the ashes and without carrying things that are heavy, when you come on the other side, your beauty will just be cosmetic and your dance will just be a performance. I'm gonna let y'all sit on that. Let me say that again. If you come through this other side with no ashes, your beauty will just be cosmetic and your dancing will just be a performance. God says, I'm trying to give you a beauty that's transformative, not cosmetic. And I'm trying to give you a dance that is, that is, that, 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 that moves the rhythm, that is, that is pushed by the rhythms of grace. I'm not trying to give you a dance to perform on a stage. I'm trying to give you a dance that provides life for your soul. But if you don't walk through heavy things, your dance will just be a performance. You'll just be tap dancing. You'll just be on a show. You're just performing with no presence. Ah. 
<laughs> your performance won't have the presence of God's glory because his glory comes through the heaviness. Your beauty will just be cosmetic. It will be absent of the transformative presence of God because you didn't give ashes. It's a great exchange. He says, mourn, cry, be sad because in that I'm going to comfort you. And this is how I'm going to comfort you. I'm going to take the reality of the ashes of your life and I'm going to make something beautiful. And I'm going to take the heaviness that you have and I'm going to carve out and beat out a rhythm that calls you to dance. I'm going to give you spots to put your feet that will create a dance in my presence. It won't be a performance. It will be an expression of the presence of my glory in your life. So carry the things that are heavy. Put on the ashes. Cry the tears and let your heart break because I'm going to get close to you. I'm going to bottle up your tears. I'm going to give you beauty for your ashes and I'm going to give you a dance for your heaviness. So cry. It's necessary. I went to uh, Portland uh, to preach at my friend's church. And when I went to Portland, uh, Cassandra, I um, I was just hanging out in Portland. And Portland people just don't like a L.A. people. It's just, Annie, it's just a thing. Portland people don't like L.A. people. It's just the whole vibe. They're like, oh, you from, you from L.A., Allison? They would be like, oh, you from L.A.? And I'd be like, oh, okay. So um, I just noticed at, in Portland, I don't know if it's still like this, but they are required to compost. They are required to compost. Do you, have y'all heard of composting? Y'all know what that is? It's when you don't throw away your waste, your food waste, Annie. Uh, it, 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 Nani, it, it's, it's when you don't throw away your waste, but you just allow it in this contraption to collect. And everyone's required to do this. And composting is the most disgusting thing. If you ain't ever seen it, it's one of the most disgusting things you've ever seen. It, it, it is disgusting. You, you leave the stuff, the stuff basically has got to rot, got to deteriorate. And then what happens is as it, as it breaks down, as the compost, as it breaks down, they then use it um, for fertilizer. Um, and, and, and they mix it with, you know, like rotted food. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Seattle's, Seattle's required to, uh, too. Uh, thanks, Megan. Uh, it, it's rotten down. It includes like feces, Sometimes, like mess. So they'll take your, they'll take your mess. Oh Lord, have mercy! I want to say, I want to say the other word to make a point, but my wife would shut me down. She'd come up and pull the plugs on these things. They'll take your mess from today. Your mess from today, broken down food, old food. They'll take your mess from today, and it will become fertilizer for tomorrow which will then be the fuel for your harvest in the next season. I wish, oh, I wish, I wish I had a witness up in here. I wish somebody could see me coming. Somebody say, I see you. Somebody say, I see you. I, do you see me coming? I'm telling you, God is saying morning is necessary. It's necessary because I'm gonna take your mess from today and it's going to become fertilizer tomorrow. And this will become the bedrock for your harvest in your next season. I'm telling you, number one, you got another season coming. You didn't come here to die here. You got another season coming. And your next season is going to have a harvest. But I'm telling you what's going to be the seed of that harvest is your fertilizer, your mess. So don't throw it away. Don't throw that ashes away. No, 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 no. God's going to use that for his glory. Don't throw, don't throw the burdens and the sadness away. No, 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 no. God's going to use it for his glory. Don't throw those tears away. Don't deny yourself of those tears. No, let them run, girl. Let them run. Bro, turn on the faucet because he's bottling them up. And it's going to be the seed for your harvest. Your harvest is coming. And he's going to use the mess of the day to be the fertilizer for tomorrow that's going to be the bedrock for your harvest in your next season. You getting yourself ready for your next season. Your next season is coming right now. God is opening up the doors and he's using your morning. So this is Monday morning. Give yourself time to cry. Give yourself time to mourn. Give yourself time to grieve. Don't throw up confetti. Girl, get you some ashes because out of the ashes, you're going to get beauty. Out of the heaviness. You should be heavy. You should be heavy. You should be heavy. And out of the heaviness, 
He's choreographing a dance. So now ain't the time for denial. Now ain't the time to stick your head in the sand and act like ain't nothing happening. Now is the time for you to look at the news, look at the death tolls, look at the people that are sick, look at the burdens of the families and be heavy. Your heart should break. The tears should flow. The ashes should surround you and the heaviness should weigh on you because God's going to use all of that to compost your next season. Your harvest is coming. I guess I'm saying, get the fertilizer ready. Because the good news is, God's going to use all of it. He's going to use all of it for his glory. Amen. That's it, y'all. Happy Monday morning. May you walk in the morning. Because everything's going to be okay. Because it's okay not to be okay. Okay. Everything's going to be okay. So sit in the ashes. He's giving you beauty. He's giving you beauty. Carry the heaviness. He's giving you dancing shoes. I'm telling you, God is doing it. His goodness, I love it. His goodness is running after you. You ain't gonna have to run after his goodness. He's gonna give you his goodness. He's gonna provide it. It's gonna come after you. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Yo, share this with somebody. Share this with somebody. Let them be encouraged. Y'all come meet us in the morning. His goodness is running after you this Monday. He's coming after you this Monday. You ain't got to run after him. He's running after you. Amen, Nikita. God bless you. Sherry, have a good week, y'all. Jeanette, have a good week. Stephanie, have a good week. Gilbert, Beth, have a good week. Amy, have a good week. Lizzie. <laughs> Ricky, I'll, I'll text you. I'll send it to you. Love you, Marquette, man. Appreciate you, bro. Tasha, girl here. Hang in there, girl. Britt, hang in there. Nicole, hang in there. Kayla, hang in there. Cynthia, Storm, love you, bro. Crystal, Sandra, everything's going to be okay, girl. Angela, everything. Sh Cherie, good morning. Chad Beer, God bless you, bro. I hope y'all doing well, man, in this season. Chad, hang in there, bro. I hope you're being encouraged, man. Lloyd, I love you, girl. Shaya, God bless you. Shan, have a good week. Karen. Come on, Raymonda. Come on, girl. Start it off right, girl. Come on. Y'all should listen to the end of this. This is just going to bless your life. This is going to bless you. Porter. God bless you, bro. Thanks, sis. Thank you, Kiana. Love you. Kara. Take this into your day with you. Just receive this blessing. Receive this. Doc, Chad, you right, bro. He's making that good money, too, bro. <laughs> Happy 20-year anniversary. <laughs> I'll receive this blessing. Come on. God is so good.
God bless you. Y'all have a good day.